the fact that do you think people are going to have to go to work in order to receive their Nasara and Jasara? And if so, in what capacity? Well, this is, this is the understanding that I have. There's two, there's two, well, if we had the XRP buyback in, there's three parts because they're, they're, they're all attached. The XRP buyback was actually supposed to happen first in 2021. Then the, then the overnight option was elected because this whole prop uh, process was to take about four years. However, they realized with the cabal and, and the deep state and the need to not only get rid of them, but to exterminate them, they had to make this all one project and do it simultaneously. So Nassara moved into the front position because people needed money. People are a paycheck away from going bankrupt. They over leveraged in the digital asset space. You know, people have been financially, financially hurt bad but god's making up for all that with this restoration and getting through this is the most important part because why because everybody needs to be comfortable knowing they got something with the nasar having the having the xrp buyback part of it but not the lead takes care of everybody that held on to XRP. And and then the people that didn't have it won't have any animosity towards the people that do. Yes. And and see, and that's really important. Why? Because that alone is enough to disqualify a person going through the redemption center or attempting to, to go through the redemption center. Yeah, if you if you had um, a fence on your heart, you know, bitterness and you show up at the redemption center, boy, that's going to be a, that's going to be a tough one on you. That's going to be a tough one. You do not want to walk into the redemption center with that 